In our last lesson, we talked about what insulin resistance is. In summary, when you're insulin resistant, there are two things going on in your body. First, the levels of insulin in your bloodstream are too high. And second, your cells are less responsive to all that insulin. So the question is, what causes insulin resistance? The answer to that question is too much insulin in your bloodstream. The follow-up question then is what causes too much insulin in your bloodstream? The answer is the things we eat and drink. Here's what happens. We have about one and a half gallons of blood flowing through our bodies at any given time, which is about 24 cups. And guess how much sugar all that blood is designed to handle at one time? About one teaspoon. So what happens when we drink a Coke and dump 13 teaspoons of sugar into our bloodstream? Or we eat a blueberry muffin and dump 14 teaspoons of sugar into our bloodstream? It creates a huge spike in our blood sugar level. The three macronutrient food groups, carbohydrates, protein, and fat, have different impacts on blood sugar levels. Carbohydrates like corn, wheat, potatoes, sugar, and fructose have the most impact. Protein has much less of an impact. And what about fat? Healthy fats have almost no effect on blood sugar levels. So when you ate that blueberry muffin and spiked your blood sugar, your body immediately went to work trying to bring down that level. It did that by having your pancreas dump a bunch of insulin into your bloodstream. And about the time it started to help and drive the level down, it was lunchtime and you ate more carbs in the form of pizza. And again, blood sugar levels are spiked and your pancreas dumps a whole bunch more insulin into your bloodstream. As this continues day after day, month after month, there are four consequences that result. First, we gain weight. Second, we feel more hungry all the time. Third, fat release from our cells is inhibited by the flood of readily available energy in the form of carbs and sugar. And fourth, we become insulin resistant. So, a quick review. What causes insulin resistance? The answer is there's too much insulin in the bloodstream. And the follow-up question, what causes too much insulin in the bloodstream? The answer lies in remembering the blueberry muffin. With nearly 14 teaspoons of sugar, its nutritional makeup is three-fourths carbohydrates. Yes, this is primarily caused by the things we eat and drink. Is there hope? Yes, of course. The great thing is that today we understand the science behind the truth. And that's why you're here.